custom tailored vet asks me out for something wet when the vet begins to pet i cry hooray but i'm always true to you darling in my fashion yes i'm always true to you darling in my way It'll hold a zipper, it'll stretch well. A little bit, Not, I don't need it to yeah. be super yeah. stretchy. I just want it to have a little gift. 161.19. All righty. People do not realize how much they deal with fabric all the time. I'm Kate Gaffney Lang, and I'm the heir apparent of Gaffney Fabrics, a retail store here in the Germantown section of Philadelphia. I call it the most democratic place to shop in Philadelphia. You can be standing with a designer or a mom with a baby or a Muslim sister or a Mennonite who's visiting from Lancaster. There's a woman who comes up from Baltimore weekly to see what we've gotten new. It's not just a fashion store and it's not just a quilting store and it's not just an upholstery store. It's all of those things. That's what makes us different from everybody else. We might not have every piece of high-end fabric. I will send them down to Fort Street. We know who we are, and we don't try to be anybody else. That is not as durable. I am Velma Lee, and I am a clothing designer. So I just had something for the Grammys. Yep, had something on the Tonys. It was wonderful. And right now I have a patent pending for something. So I would like Kate and her staff to help me find the right fabric so that I can take it to the factory and make a prototype. Maybe can we look at the camera? Yeah. Just to see. Yeah. We can do these two. I couldn't find anybody to make things the way I wanted them. When I decided to cover, I like to be popping. <laughs> I have a boutique. My boutique is close to Broughton Somerville. It's called The Boutique. <laughs> Everything that I make comes straight from the heart to make sure that you feel great, cover it modestly. You know, the girls don't like a lot of glitter that comes off because it gets on their clients. I'm E. Freeman, and I make exotic dance wear. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I have to have it. I come to Daphne's maybe about twice a week. Hi, how are you? I'm good, aren't they fun? They basically know what I'm looking for. Sometimes they put things away for me. I've seen the trend of different types of fabrics, and some of them want feathers, they want all the bling that you can possibly find. And that's about it. Do you guys need help? Hey, these are the coffee guys. How are you? Good. You need vinyl, yes? I mean, you tell us. This yeah. Is your life. <laughs> my favorite part of my job is solving the customer's problem. And is this for upstairs, or where are downstairs. the chairs? Well, they were upstairs, yeah. Our no, customers like, have to get in their car. Okay. They have to drive here. They come through the door. They have a problem and you have to figure out what it is. That is, for me, a great challenge. Oh, that's a good one. I feel like there are two routes that consumers are taking. One is faster, 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 Amazon, you know, get it in here today or tomorrow. Or there's the, I want to connect to my community. And I feel like we stand strongly on the ladder. Buying fabric online is not the same as touching and feeling and being comfortable with what you're buying. What year is this? 19... Oh, here. 1973. 1973. And here, khakis, chinos, gabs, at $1.99. That's still the price. Right. <laughs> we wouldn't be around if it hadn't been for the hard work of my parents. They've given it 50 years. That is a long time. 
when you own your own business, you cannot fool yourself. You know when it's good, and you know when it's bad. I am Joe Gaffney. I am the owner of Gaffney Fabrics. I'm Lenore Gaffney, and I was head notions buyer of Gaffney Fabrics. My name is Julia Lang, and I am the granddaughter of the people who run Gaffney Fabrics. <laughs> I was young. I was energetic. It was just a product. I enjoyed the handling of the goods. I enjoyed the people. I enjoyed servicing. I just enjoyed everything about retail. It just happened to be fabrics. Could have been... Uh, Nuts and bolts. <laughs> yeah. Could have been a hardware store. It takes so long to grow the business. And the fact that Kate is so capable and willing to keep it going is very satisfying. The question has been asked before, where else would we be in the city? And I can't think of another neighborhood as supportive of this business as Germantown has been. One, two, three. And I would say thank you to all the employees who've ever come through Gaffney's um, and all the customers who've ever come through Gaffney's. You make it worth us being here and being part of this community.